Let's go back to the basics on T2, because obviously we've got T1 and T2, and yeah. water looks different and fat looks different on T1 versus T2. We like T2 because water is bright, fat is dark. Yeah. And then. So T1 in the setting of prostate MRI is mainly helpful to look at for hemorrhage. It shows hemorrhage pretty well. Whereas the T2 is really your workhorse of your anatomical imaging for the MRI. So the T2 is really your go-to series for the MRI. It shows the peripheral zone and the transition zone. And when we look better. at a, a, a PIRAD 4 or 5 lesion, it appears as a, it's almost like you took your thumb and you just printed something on paper and you like smudge the print. It's like a smudge mark. And it appears dark because is it go back again to tightly packed cells? Yeah, it it, it, it again does go. Or back does to, it have more to do with cytoplasm to nucleus ratios? That's a good question. I don't actually know the answer. If is if it's actual stroma involvement or if it's the actual nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio that makes the difference in terms of how it looks on T two. Um, but uh, it has to do with, you know, the actual, as opposed to how it looks through a gradient. Um, it's just the, like a snapshot in time, how it looks um, to the, you know, how the protons uh, respond to perturbations, which is what an MRI is. Okay. It's, you know, you align all the protons and they're all spinning in the same gradient and then you apply these uh, perturbations. And then they all go back. So, they all yeah, they, 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 they it's basically back nuclear for, magnetic resonance right. back in chemistry, right? In a big human, in a big human, human way. way.